Barbara's gonna kill me. Shut up. I think I just found something unknown to this creek. What the? Nah. -uh. Hey, it's been a while since we've uh, put out a little fossil hunting video. So today we're gonna go to a spot. If you live in the area and you want a little place to kind of go and kick back and relax, take some chairs, and maybe even take the kids, let them splash around in the water, something like that. It's, it's a fun place. So we're gonna get out and show you where it is. And I hope you enjoy this video. We made it to the spot and we're gonna show you what it's all about. If you just go on Google Maps and look up the Garland gun range, it should put you in the right parking lot. So you'll notice there's a little uh, bridge and sidewalk next to the parking lot here. And you can just walk down this sidewalk, turn right when you get to this little bridge that goes over this creek here and then from there it's basically just straight down this long sidewalk when you get down to the power lines you'll see a little trail that takes you down to Rowlett Creek and that's where we're gonna stop see you when we get there So we made it. This is the spot. Yeah, there's like a gravel bar here. Yeah, there's a gravel bar here. It's usually got a lot more gravel, but we've gotten a lot of rain in the last couple of weeks. And all this sand and everything is pretty new. But uh there's a fossil. Yeah, shell. Right there. Sweet. So we got lucky one night we came down here and found uh, an arrowhead like right off the bat Barbara did. And then another one, uh, the same night, yeah. So there is some artifacts here. Yeah, so here's a really nice uh, chert flake. So something tells us that there had to have been a camp or a few camps along Rowlett Creek a long, long time ago because we do find chert here. But if nothing else, it's a great spot to come and hang out with the kids. Kids like to come here too. The water is a little lower at times and they can kind of splash around here and hang out on the bank. So all in all it's a pretty cool spot. We're gonna we're gonna look around and see what we can find. It's funny every time we come here almost guaranteed to find one of these. Every time. Look at this tooth. Yeah. Been here maybe uh, two minutes. <laughs> And it was just right there by where we were standing. So there's cool stuff here to find. Um, just come on out and check it out. Hey, I just found another one literally seconds after you found that other one. Yes. It's a little bit different shape. Uh, that's cool. Thanks. Yeah. So just found some bone material here. It looks very old. It's not modern. It's heavy. Um, could be Pleistocene bone. I'm not sure what it would go to, but that's cool. I'll keep that. Okay, so right here is a really good example of some work chert. See all these markings on here where there's been pieces chipped off, as well as on this side here. That's a nice piece of chert. So we know there's artifacts here. We found them before. We also find quite a bit of chert in this creek. So 
So we're gonna just keep looking and see if we can turn anything up today. Hey Barb. Hi. What do you got? Let's start uh, with this hand. So there's some pretty nice church. Mm -hmm. It looks like it might actually, they might have started on making a preform, but they just gave up on it. This here, yeah. And then here's a bunch of clams all together, kind of like a death plate. I did find this cool bottle. And then I yes. have this rudest clam. <clears throat> That's cool. Um, some more church. Yep. I think this is uranium glass. So I'm going to take it home and look. All right. And I don't know what that is. Some kind of pottery, I believe. Yeah, tile, maybe. I don't know. That's cool. Thank you. So Barbara just found this shiny, kind of glazed, heavy rock. And I mean, it almost looks like, like it kind of looks like meteorite. We have a few meteorite pieces at home and it really looks like it. We're going to take that home and just check. I mean, it's pretty rare to find anything like that, but we'll see if that's magnetic and maybe post it online and see what everybody else thinks. Hey, you found another bison tooth, huh? Yeah, I sure did. Dang, that one's nice. It is. That's like black, yeah. too. Wow. Thanks. Cool. Yeah, Three. All right, I don't know what I've got right here. Check this out. What do you think this is? Bone? I mean, I know it's bone, but it's very brown and very old looking. Is it heavy? Yeah. That is really interesting. We're gonna have to get home later and see if we can figure out what this goes to. That is really interesting. It's got a lot of shine on it. It's very smoothed out. Yeah. Very old looking. Yeah. Doesn't look like any kind of modern bone that we find. No. We find a lot of modern bones, so it makes it really easy to distinguish the two. Yeah, because the marrow on the inside of modern bone really doesn't preserve very well. Yeah. I just found another bison tooth. What? Right here. Another one? Yeah, right here. Alright, let's come see what Barbara got. I'm the bison lady today. Yeah, sweet. Pick <laughs> it up. Awesome. Man, we're... Killing it with bison. What's that, like five, six? Yeah. That's cool. So Johnny was just talking about bone and how you can tell whether or not it's modern or, or the age of it by just looking at it. We just found this bone and you can tell automatically that this is a modern bone. The way that we can tell is you can see that it's not preserving very well. The bone itself is deteriorating very heavily, uh, creating a lot of holes in the bone. Also, when you pick up a piece of modern bone, it's very lightweight. Yeah. There's no weight to it at all. So that's one of the ways that you can tell the age or approximate whether or not you're holding a fossil or a new modern piece of bone. Wow, now here's a fossil. Check this out. Wow. Yes, hi Barbara. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to find everything for the rest of the day. Yeah, all the fossils. Yeah, yeah and then on top of that, can you find a few more? Because we need more for this video. We're uh, coming in pretty empty handed. Yeah, yeah, great. Perfect, thank you. Bye. Barbara! Hey, hey. Hi. Hi. what you find? A vertebrae. Woo! It's actually, you know, it's just. Kind of. <laughs> it looks like a mosasaur vert, but you can tell that it's. New ish. Yeah. yeah. A hundred years old, or maybe less, or maybe more, or somewhere in that era. Lightweight. Yeah. Well, kind of. It's like medium. Yeah. Don't throw it at me. <laughs> hey, Barbara. Huh. What an ironic day. Oh my God. So I was just standing here saying, gee, you know, we've never really found shark's teeth here before. This is kind of like the one thing we don't ever find. And I said, hey, Barb, do we ever, have we ever found a shark's tooth here? Yeah. And you said, once. Once. Yeah. Right. I said, yeah, I think we found one, one time. And I think it was the second time we've ever been here. Yeah. And we've probably been here two dozen times right. over the last year and a half. Right. So find? then I'm like, well, we found one, one time, and then we've never, ever found another one. I squatted down five seconds later. Oh my 
my god. There's a tooth. And there's a beautiful <laughs> shark tooth. Okay. Right here. Okay. Right here. What? Okay. okay, if that's not the universe talking to me, <laughs> I don't know what it is because I said, yeah, we found one that one time and we were like, okay, there's shark teeth here. Let's let's have a look around and see. And then nothing, nothing for over a year. Mm -hmm. Squat down as I'm saying that. Yes, there's a tooth. And there's a tooth. <laughs> I'm glad we got this on video because nobody would have believed this story. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That's a really pretty one too. Yes. Yeah, babe. Alright, so a little bit further along here we've got some very worked chert. I can't mm -hmm. tell if that might have actually used to have been part of a, a point or preform. Probably part of a preform because it's really thick on the sides, top and bottom here. Yep. But it is worked. It's scraped on both yeah. sides here. I keep finding a lot of little. Yeah, she keeps flakes. finding flakes of chert over here. Yeah. And we found several flakes today, but no whole or half broken Here's another. points. Yep, there's another one right there. No, but we will. I'm on. I'm sniffing it out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep sniffing. Barbara here just found some mammoth enamel and yeah. some shirt. Let's take a look. All right, let's see. Mammoth? Yep, that sure is. And Without the black shirt, kind of like the arrowheads I found here last time. Dang, that's cool. Yeah. Where'd you find those at? I just over there, crawling on my hands and knees. Like halfway I wanted down? I to find a shirt's tooth because I can't let you win. Oh, it's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Thanks. Hey Barb, check out my balls. <laughs> so I'm just standing over here with my balls in my hand. <laughs> and uh, Barbara, it's been the day of chert that isn't arrowheads. <laughs> it has been the day full of beautiful chert and no points. We have days like this on the North Sulphur River and uh, Looks like we're having that day here too. Whatever. Whatever. Barbara's gonna kill me. Shut up. I think I just found something unknown to this creek. What the? Nah. -uh. Are you serious right now? I just found a, a Tychotis Mortoni. No, you did not. Tooth. Right here. Right here in the dirt. Shut totally up. stuck. Right here where I just knelt down. Yeah, you did. Oh my god. That is not only a rare tooth, but an extremely unlucky, unlu un un unlucky, unlucky, I can't even talk, unlucky. unlikely, unlikely find. That is an extremely yeah. unlikely find for this area. Tony, are you serious? That's yeah. the nicest Martoni we have. Yeah. What? And this is upstream of here is Ozan Formation. And where we're at right now is Austin Chalk. So I can only believe that that came out of the Austin Chalk Formation. Let's hold that up again. Oh my God. All right. I'm gonna go buy a lotto ticket because today I just keep getting <laughs> all this stuff. Man. All right, okay. I'm mad at you. I know, I know you are. Now you told me not to look over here because you said there wouldn't be teeth in this. I didn't say that. I said it would be like looking for a needle in a haystack. That doesn't mean don't look. Barbara, you finally redeemed Yay! yourself. Yeah. Barbara, you finally redeemed yourself. I did. What did you find? Shark's tooth. Pull it out. Nice. That's not like I don't think that's that's like the one we found earlier so it's a different species also I found this yeah pick that up show everybody look at this I can't tell it it looks worked on both sides it, is. it has ridges on that side and yeah it's definitely worked on that side yeah not a whole point not a point but I would consider that an artifact yeah an artifact for sure yes 
and a shark tooth. Finally. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Thanks. Hey. Hey. So we had a pretty good day. Yep. Hang, hang on a minute. Yes. Hi. Oh. Hi there. Yeah. Paleo Chris. Oh, nice. Nice hearing from you. Yeah. You. What's that? You want to do a collaboration video with us? Really? Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, we're in the middle of making an episode right now, so uh, we'll have to hit you up later. All right, bye now. Anyway, we had a pretty good day. Don't worry, that was just Chris, my friend Chris. Yeah, sure. We found some pretty cool stuff. It's always a good place to go. I think we like it because it's like 10, 15 minutes at the most from where we live. Super close, easy to get to. Sometimes you just want to get out of the house, go have some fun around uh, nature, and get out and enjoy the outdoors, right? Yep. I so, had fun. Me too. All right. Love you. Love you too. Bye. All right. See ya.